What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video, we're going to be shoutcasting some battles submitted to the channel by a member of the community, YYDS, I am a noob. This battler, as you guys can see, is on the cusp of legend, spoiler alert, they hit legend with this team of Mamoswine, Mewtwo, and Lugia. Now take a look at that Mewtwo, that is a Focus Blast Mewtwo, which means we're probably going to be booming today, which is why I have the boom shirt on. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this team and these battles, and let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, man, it feels good to be back. Let's go ahead and check out this first battle here. We got Mamoswine on the lead versus Giratina Altered. Very solid lead matchup, right? Having Powder Snow and Avalanche is very advantageous against Dragons and Groudon as well. Yes, you can get hit by Fire Punches and whatnot, but we see an Avalanche now come through. That is a great catch on Dialga since it's going to be neutral um, because of the steel. They still get a shield though. That's fantastic. They're going to go ahead and look to build up to Bulldoze to pressure that second shield right here. Remember that steel typing is going to be taking super effective damage from these ground type moves. Will it land? No, they get two shields right away. And we <laughs> We see a Mewtwo come right in. Mamoswine able to get two shields. You guys already see what is inevitable right here. We're going to see our first boom of the day with that Focus Blast. They're switch locked as well, so they cannot dodge this thing. Here it comes. Battlers, let's go. Boom! Takes out the Dialga. We're probably going to see the Giratina come back in. Again, has a solid matchup with the Psychic typing here on Mewtwo with those Shadow Sneaks. I believe this was Dragon Breath. No, it was Shadow Claw. Okay. So they're going to be able to farm down. Now, they still have Mamoswine. But the thing is, Mamoswine's quite low. Um, so they are going to bring in Lugia right here. That is a good call. Rocking Dragon Tail as well, which is a very strong move um, for all leagues, basically. It got an upgrade. And Lugia is going to be able to go to town. It's going to be doing super effective damage as well. And I don't think Sky Attack is going to be enough to KO right here. Um, Giratina Altered is very, very bulky. But the reason why they didn't bring Mamoswine back in is remember, Giratina Altered can do neutral and sometimes super effective if they're rocking Ancient Power. And Mamoswine was very low, so they would have to give up a shield, whereas Lugia right here does not. They can just farm down. Um, you also may be wondering, okay, Giratina Altered's got Shadow Claw, um, and it has Shadow Sneak, but as you guys can see, Lugia is very bulky. It doesn't care. It's just going to go ahead and farm down. The opponent does decide to surrender right there, so that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. All right, moving into this next battle here, we have Mamoswine on the lead versus Giratina Origin. A lot of dragons right now on the lead, so this is obviously a very positive matchup. You still have to watch out for Shadow Ball. It's absolutely going to hurt, but Avalanche can be spammed very quickly, and it's going to be doing super effective damage. So we will most likely be seeing the first shield go down right here, which we do now. What's dangerous about Giratina Origin is the Ominous Wind Shield Bait, but is this going to be a Shadow Ball? Nope, it is an Ominous Wind, which means they are now ahead on energy, so hopefully they can land another Avalanche, which they do right here. Um, they should be getting the second shield, unless Giratina is just going to know. They're going to go ahead and second shield it. Here comes another charge move. This might be another Ominous Wind Shield Bait. No, it is going to be the Shadow Ball. That's pretty huge right there for that shield. Hopefully they can win the race. They're going to over farm a bit. Very good counting right there. Obviously, knowing that Giratina Origin wasn't going to be able to get to a Shadow Ball just, in, just before um, getting that Avalanche energy. We will now see what is going to come in. It is going to be a Dialga, which means this Bulldoze right here, which they're barely able to get to with one HP in a Dream, is going to be doing super effective damage. We may see a swap out into Lugia. No, they're going to go ahead and let the Mamoswine go down. Lugia is probably going to be coming in and farming down with Dragon Tail right here. Charge Moon now coming through. I don't think this was enough for Thunder, so this might just be an Iron Head. No, it's going to be a Draco Meter. Completely wrong. These sped up videos um, are very tough to gauge, but hopefully Lugia can get to the Arrow Blast in time, which it can. This is going to be doing a lot of damage, and they're going to have to swap out into Mewtwo so that they can't get farmed down, which they do. They swap in. Hopefully the Togekiss doesn't get to the Flamethrower in time, which they don't. They're able to get to this side Strike. This is going to be taking out Togekiss, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Yep, Dialga is going to go down. 
very good game right there. Um, obviously, they didn't have a good answer for Mamoswine on the lead, considering they had Dialga, Togekiss, and Giratina Origin, which is why Mamoswine has a great coverage on this meta. See, Mamoswine versus Togekiss now. So they are just winning their leads right here, which is beautiful to see. And we're not seeing a swap out again. This is probably a tell that there is more dragons in the back. So we are going to see um, Avalanche now come through. Obviously, going to be one-shotting or doing super effective damage right here. So they will be getting shields but Toei Kiss as well can win this matchup because of Charm. As you guys can see, Mamoswine cannot get to three avalanches in time. So Toei Kiss can just farm down right here, double shield. Mamoswine is going to go down. But having no shields against a Lugia and a Mewtwo is asking for it, right? Focus Blast, Arrow Blast, Psy Strike. It's going to hurt. Now we're going to see the first shield from Mewtwo block that Ancient Power. And hopefully they can get to a side strike in time, which they can. This is going to be taking out the Togekiss, and we'll have to see what is going to be in the back. I imagine one, if not two dragons, maybe a Garchomp. We'll have to see. It's going to be Giratina Alter, or Origin right here. Um, so again, a dragon coming in. And then that third Pokemon, we don't know what it is yet, but it was probably weak to Mamoswine as well. So will we see a swap out? No, they're going to go ahead and stay in right here. I think this was, this might be Shadow Ball, but I think it's just going to be Ominous when... Yeah, it was just an ominous win. They're going to go ahead and shield that. Hopefully get to a side strike in time. Oh, wow. They're risking. They're swapping out into Lugia to catch the charge move right here. So saved a ton of energy there on Mewtwo with that Focus Blast potentially for... Nope, there is a Garchomp in the back. See, reading that team, how Togekiss stayed in, it was probably Double Dragon. So, Garchomp right here is going to get absolutely destroyed by Arrow, Blast, and Dragon Tail. I don't think the Outrage right here is going to be enough to take it out. Yeah, barely not enough to take it out, but they can go for a Sky Attack. This is going to do neutral damage right here to Garchomp and hopefully enough to take it out. Ooh, barely not enough. So, hopefully a Dragon Tail. No, Garchomp able to fast move down. Mewtwo comes back in and they're going to have to go for... He's Focus Blasting the Giratina Origin. Are you kidding me? I guess you could have just gone for Psy Strike. It's still enough! Boom! <laughs> you should have gone go for Psy Strike in that situation, everyone. That is a huge flex right there going for Focus Blast. All right. Getting into this next battle, we have Mamoswine versus Giratina Origin again. Okay, so solidly winning lead on these matchups. Um, again, Mamoswine does so well against Dragons, against Flyers, um, against Pokemon like Dialga, um, because of that steel typing, right? It can hit neutral with Avalanche and super effective with Bulldoze. So Mamoswine in the lead is looking pretty strong. Plus, we don't see a lot of fighters um, in the meta. Something like Machamp um, isn't too common. Now, they go ahead and shield the Ominous Wind, and we've seen this before. If they play it right and they do shield the Shadow Ball, they can get to three Avalanches right here with a bit of energy. They do get both shields again, and here comes the next charge move. Um, so this, I think it was a bit quick for Shadow Ball, so it's just going to be another Ominous Wind, so they can let that go. And now they're going to be able to get to the Avalanche in time. This is going to take out the Giratina Origin, and they still have um, a shield left for their backline, which is very, very solid. We will see Dialga now come in. So we're probably going to see the Mewtwo come in and just Focus Blast. But we have to watch out for the Sack Swap on this one, right? They do have their Switch up. Here comes that first Charge move. It's going to be the Iron Head for neutral damage. We will see the Shield be blocking that right there. Now watch out for the Sack Swap. There's a beautiful Sack Swap by the opponent. And I believe into a Groudon right here from the ground typing that I saw. Yeah, it is going to be a Groudon. They're going to go ahead and farm up. Actually, they might try to just completely farm down. My goodness, double Focus Blast because I don't think Fire Punch is going to be enough um, to take it out. Yeah, not enough, but will Psycho Cuts? They're going to go ahead and build back up to Focus Blast. That's very smart. Building up to Focus Blast um, to store that energy, then swapping to Lugia to be able to farm down with Dragon Tail. Now, Dialga still has a lot of health left, but remember that Mewtwo just stored up a Focus Blast and it will win CMP tie versus Dialga. Um, so it doesn't matter if Lugia goes down right here. They got this game in the bag unless they lag. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that rhyme because I'm going to try to do it all the time. All right, Lugia now going for the Arrow Blast. This is going to be resisted right here, um, but it'll still do a huge... Oh, boom! Takes it out and gets the boost. All right. Oh, man. All right, moving into this next battle here. 
I'd love to see a lead loss. I'm sure we'll see it. There's quite a few battles in this video. We got Mammoth Swine versus Ganon. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe they're just getting dragons on the lead all day long. Now the opponent is lagging. Nope, they're not. They were both lagging right there. So we will see the first charge move now come through. Again, you got to watch out for Ancient Power. That's what you have to watch out for in this matchup. But they only have Dragon Claw, which means they're rocking Dragon Claw Shadow Sneak. Um, so we will see the first Avalanche come through. Giratina Altered can survive this. So I, I would um, bet that we're probably going to see a No Shield right here. All right, no, they decided to shield. That's all right, because they can actually put a lot of pressure with this Dragon Claw. And they're trying to get that shield advantage or keep that shield advantage i could i should say with uh with mammoth swine they're gonna go ahead and go for another one now it's gonna come down to a race to that third avalanche if they can get two shields um in this matchup they do get two shields now can they get to the next one in time yes they can is this gonna be enough to take it out i think it will be i think it'll just be enough damage to take it out yeah able to take out the giratina altered right there and save all the shields which is beautiful now we do see mewtwo come in which you have to be concerned about if it has shadow ball and ice beam for this lugia because of the psychic flying typing but we're gonna see a no shield first um obviously it can survive and they do have shadow ball which does a lot of damage as you guys can see now we'll have to see if they decide to swap which they do into their own lugia now they can't bring their mewtwo into this matchup because they have focus blast psy strike so they're gonna have to stay in right here with lugia and look to close this game out um, with their own Mewtwo as well. So we will see a shield right here. Obviously a Sky Attack would do enough damage to take out the Lugia and they want to get to that Arrow Blast in order to do a lot of neutral damage to kind of um, close this game out right here. So here comes the Arrow Blast. Is it going to one shot? It's going to do a lot. Ooh, barely. Oh, and the attack boost. Oh man, they swap out and catch the charge move on Mewtwo. But... This is still going to do a lot of damage. It is going to be a sky attack and they do have a little bit of energy. The opponent decided to surrender right there. All right. Good game. I think what was impressive was that Mammoth Swine on the lead knowing um, able to go 4-0 or five, four oh right now. And they're going into their fifth battle. Um, was Mammoth Swine knowing what it could handle against Giratina Altered, especially since they weren't running Ancient Power. Again, that's the thing you got to watch out for. Um, but since it was Dragon Claws, they were able to get two shields and take it out without giving up any shields. That's very impressive um, with its knowledge of what Mammoth Swine can do. All right, we got Mammoth Swine versus Mewtwo on the lead. Um, Psy Strike is going to hurt, and they're going to go ahead. They know that. They're going to swap into their own Mewtwo right here. Build up to what would be Shadow Ball and go for Psy Strike. Obviously, they don't have their own Shadow Ball, but the fear of it is what's very strong right here in this matchup and they do get a shield which is beautiful but they're going to go ahead and shield themselves and we'll have to see if they do have shadow ball which they do that is not good for this mewtwo but we do see giratina origin now come in which isn't too bad they will lose this matchup because of shadow claw ominous wind but they can at least chunk a lot of health with psy strikes and they do get another shield that is beautiful so they can get a free side strike off right here and basically let Mewtwo go down and bring back in um, that Mammoth Swine um, in order to farm down with Powder Snow. Now Giratina Origin playing this very well overloading on energy and then probably just going to throw an Ominous Wind right here to take out the Mewtwo. Um, that way they have some load energy for Mammoth Swine in the back. So we will see Mammoth Swine come back in. Mewtwo as well bailed after throwing. Oh, they're going to go ahead and bring in the Lugia right here. Interesting choice. They have to watch out for Shadow Ball, but they can fully farm down. Um, and again, if Mewtwo decides to come back in, Arrow Blast is going to absolutely hurt it. I imagine it's going to near one shot it. Plus it has no energy as well. Okay, we're going to see Dialga come in. So this isn't too bad. Um, but Mammoth Swine is going to have to get ahead on energy and they cannot sack swap into Mammoth Swine because it's going to get really hurt by the Iron Head. So they have to have this Dialga throw energy and then swap. Hopefully they can get to a Sky Attack in time. They both simultaneously swap. It's going to be a race to the charge move. Avalanche not able to get there in time. Here comes the charge move from Mewtwo. I think this is just going to be a side strike, which it is, which is not enough to take it out. But Avalanche right here going to be doing a lot of damage to Mewtwo as well. But I think Mewtwo might be able to hang on. Let's see. Yes, barely able to hang on. It's going to be Powder Snow versus Psycho Cut. Powder Snow not able to take it right there. Mewtwo does throw the energy. 
And remember, Dialga does have loaded energy, so let's see if Lugia can take it out with a Sky Attack right here. It's super low. Is this going to be enough damage? Does Dialga have enough energy for Draco Meteor or Thunder? It is going to be enough damage. And Lugia taking it right there in game five. So able to go 5 0 to hit Legend. That is awesome. Really great games right there. Um, yeah, I mean. Mammoth Swine tearing apart teams on that lead, which is beautiful. So able to go 5-0 gets the Stun Fisk as well. We're just going to go ahead and fast forward a bit. All right, you caught it. All right, cool. Able to hit Legend with Mammoth Swine. That is absolutely awesome. So huge congratulations to this battler. This was an awesome team with Mammoth Swine, Mewtwo, and Lugia. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this team and these battles. And like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.